My Spy, um, action comedy directed by Pete Siegel, who made um, Naked Gun 33 and 3rd, and Tommy Boy, Boy, which I actually rather liked, and then some other stuff, First uh, 50 First Dates, Get Smart, Grudge Match. Essentially, it's a riff on Kindergarten Cop. You know the, the thing about you get a muscular action figure and you put them in a convoluted uh, setup, which means that they have to spend time with a, with a smart kid who sort oh, yeah. of outwits them. So Dave Batista is the uh, special ops agent who may not be cut out for spy work. At the very beginning, we see him on a mission in which he's meant to be infiltrating. Somebody's trying to sell uranium to somebody else, and he's meant to be infiltrating it, but he ends up just punching everybody and blowing everything up. And um, they bring him in. They say, this isn't spy work. This is punching everybody and blowing everything up. So they give him a job surveilling a woman whose ex-partner is involved in bad stuff and therefore may come calling. And it's she She is now, uh, she has a, a young child, so it's her living with the young child. And uh, they team him up with uh, Kristen Schaal, who's on a kind of a sort of nerdy uh, operative who really, really sort of idolises Dave Batista's character. And they've got a stake out together. She's kind of like a little bit like the um, sort of a riff on the Melissa McCarthy role in, in, in Spy, you know, which had Jude Law and... Um, and the stake, and then the stakeout turns personal when Dave Bautista's character starts to be attracted to the woman he's meant to be surveilling. So, kind of, you know, a bit of the Richard Dreyfus stakeout uh, movie, and then he's rumbled by the kid with whom he then has to become a sort of reluctant best friend, a la kindergarten cop, because she wants him to teach her how to be a spy. I'm serious. You don't believe me? Look, kid, you're just not the spy type. Oh, I see. So I should just stay in my box and dream of being maybe a barista or a fashion designer or a wedding planner? Or maybe an ER nurse like your mother? You know, I was thinking of asking Bobby anyway. She seems more like the brains of the operation, whereas you're more the brawn. What are you calling brawn? Bobby's an analyst. She doesn't have ounce of my training. If anybody's going to teach you, it's going to be... Nicely done. Don't do that again. At which point the score comes in that goes, it's a funny one. So here's the thing with this. I mean, it is, uh, you know, utterly you have seen it all before. And it's long been a kind of thing that it's a progress of, of action stars to move into comedy through this. I mean, Schwarzenegger did it. There's there's a passing ref to it in a Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's the thing that you do. I remember having a conversation with Dolph Lundgren once um, about how you go from being an action star to broaden your, your kind of appeal. And Dave Bautista actually is quite funny. If you look, think of um, you know Guardians of the Galaxy, he's got real comic chops in that. There's nothing of that here. What there is is a very, very sort of straightforward riffing on, you know, fairly well-trodden territory. And there are a couple of chuckles, no surprises. It was peculiar to me that um, in the screening that I was in, there was one particular person who was laughing their heads off. I mean, like laughing out loud at every single gag. In that kind of sort of slightly strange way, when I thought... I, it's okay, but I'm. Is it? I am I just missing something? You know what? It, you know, it's like the kind of laughing out of context seems kind of odd. It's not terrible. It's very. It's. It is almost the the sort of perfect case of. Meh, it's fine. You know, it's that thing that you think it is. He's a big guy. She's a little girl. She's smarter than him. They're could be, on the. It could be cake. terrible when you look at the. You know, the poster on the side of the bus. Yeah, it could be terrible. Awful. It's not terrible. It's not good but it's not terrible either. 